What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are just outside of Nashville, here for the Music City Open. Mill Ridge Park? Yeah. Mill Ridge right. Park. Ezra played in it last year, it was a national tour event. Yep. This is my first time playing it. It's on the Disc Golf Pro Tour Silver Series. We're gonna show you everything on the front nine, back nine will be on Ezra's channel. Let's jump into the whole one. Are you doing this, Ezra? I'm doing that. You're doing this? Yeah, so we got 207 feet, kind of tight OB, pond to the right. This is so much more open than it was last year, so I'm just gonna go spike forehand over top and hopefully crash into the green. This, you can also go up the middle, but that's really tight. Heavy left to right wind, too, so you definitely want something super overstable. It's getting pushed a lot by the wind, and that's part. That pushed a lot. I don't hate that, but the thing is, if you get it just a touch too high, then it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, it's one of those courses too where we're starting on a very, uh, one of those like very gettable first holes, but if you mess up, you can take actually a number. Well, they tease you too, they tease you with this, with this hole because it's kind of different than a lot of the other holes. All right, and we're off. Some things that I really like about this course is it is in a park that is just a disc golf course. Yeah. I mean, there might be trails out here for hiking and running, I'm not entirely sure, but there isn't baseball fields, football fields, soccer fields. You're literally just gonna be out here with disc golfers. It's also grass. Yes. Which is nice too. No, no dirt out here today. Kind of Hole two, par four, 710 feet. Basically allows you to kind of throw whatever shot you want. You can do the hyzer flip up. You can do the big anti flex. Flick roll. Flick roller through the gap. A lot of a lot of options. I think on this one, Ezra, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think on this one, you want to be just right of that tree bunker in the fairway. Yeah, you got kind of a couple options. If you have like a lot of distance, you can try to push all the way past and kind of right of that tree bunker that we kind of see up there. If you don't have quite the distance, you have to kind of land short of it and then go up through that gap. Would so, you ever want to try to go back. like super left? Ooh. Like uh, just no. crazy left? I don't think so, because we got the two, the two trees left of that, that tree bunker all would come into play. But if you went way left. Like does it open up way left? We should throw over there and find out. Okay. Because there might, there might be some kind of sneaky line over there. If you yeah. Go off left and then it's like a close shot. It's almost kind of wind dependent too, because if you have tailwind, you can just blast it. Yeah, we look at we got a little head today. I took the flippy nuke out of my bag, but I think it's time to bring the flippy nuke back in the bag. That's the one I gave you, man. I know. Fuck him, dude. I took it. I took it out of my bag because I didn't really Thanks need it. Bob Julia for hooking that up. You know, he sent that one to me and uh, passed it along. I snagged it. Body wasn't really engaged on that. Ezra over here sneaky game field work in. Oh for two on drives on this hole. <laughs> right. The thing is too like playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's a TikTok. <laughs> what are you gonna say? No comment, no comment. What are you gonna say? I'll tell you the thing is too about going like right to that tree bunker because it makes the second shot a little bit longer as well. But it's more open, so kind of an interesting trade-off. Oh look at the hips engaged! I was stiff so alive, my guy. I'm gonna warm it up now. Oh that's oh. perfect! <laughs> I got a 350. Thanks, well, I mean, the wind's not great right now, but I'm gonna throw in like a high stall forehand. High? Yeah. Well, like left of the tree? Yeah, but this wind's not good. But I think that is a play. You have to get so much fall, though, I feel like. 
Really? But I feel like if you had tailwind, then you'd feel get up, feel off, and then the wind would also help the second shot. So, so you're going straight no matter what. I'm going to go straight. Well, no, no. no. I think I think if it's tailwind off the tee, then the second shot, it won't then, then you have more room. I think for this, I'm going to probably go straight at that big tree, and then hopefully miss left a bit. I think from here I can go big spike hyzer if I want it or straight at it. I also feel like I'm going to try to get to this spot though. No. Like if I, I, this gap, you'd want to I'm, be playing, like, I'm playing for there. This yeah. one just hyzered out too early. about the gap or anything, you're just focusing on power and angle. Power! Good bird. Disc is dirty. All right, hole three. So we got a 723 foot pole flow. Basically, it's a big pushing hyzer off the tee over these trees, and then like a kind of a side arm, like a high spike side arm over top of kind of see over top of this kind of grove into the basket. So it's a good green. It's a good green, yeah, but I feel like it's I feel like it's it's kind of a musket. Really? Well no. You're putting this as a musket? I bogeyed it yesterday. <laughs> so I must must get a bogey. I don't know. I, I guess I'll I have to see I the green again. I don't see this as a musket because of how tricky the second shot is. Yeah. And those trees right next to the green, so if you don't poke the hole then you, you have kind of a uh, wheel. Also pot. this headwind is not ideal right now. It just switched. It was perfect right to left. Kind of high. Kind of like it though. You do like it. So I want, it's, it's like hard to get too far left and I want to be as left as I can so that I can, can at least like see that gap. That's looked up too much. I'm not a fan. I think you threw yours on way more steeper hyzer. Yeah, and we were pulling into, like, into a headwind like this, you really got to focus on getting that nose angle down. There. There you go. It's like, I, I think your fourth one maybe was like touch nose up. A little nose up and then it kind of pushed up. Yeah. Kind of pushed up. Yep. Yep, yep. Keep pushing. Yep, yep. I'm 340 to that tree bunker that's kind of up up on the edge. I'm pretty sure that's pin high. So the shot probably requires more like a closer to a, I don't know, 400 foot hyzer power. It's gonna be really tough. I actually, Ezra, is there is there a chance to go hyzer backhand? Yeah. Because you could. this wind, I mean, I'll try both. I, I think this wind's gonna be very difficult to get around the corner and have it continue to push. Because the wind is kind of off my right shoulder here. That's just gonna drop, right? Oh, huh? well, good. I no, it got over there pretty good. I think it's sh it's short. We'll try one uh one kind of hyzer spiky. Let's get over that. You got through it. That might be parked. Oh. Yeah. That bring, I feel like that brings more that, up into play. That brings that tree, that, that went through that tree. I think it's very hard to go over that tree. So that might not be the play. Also too, where you want to be like as left as you can. So you can kind of go like more over that gap instead of like over that tree line. Yeah, I need to get way but more left, I feel like. It's hard to get, it's like, it's really hard to get too far left, even with this wind. I'm at like 270. Get around it, get through it so stupid. It's like that's the one mistake you can't make. Would you ever throw the Annie on this hole? Uh, no, oh, like uh, from the tee. I just feel tea. like you risk going into this crap. And then you have to re-tee. Yeah. Okay. That's the right shot. That's perfect. Just get in there. 
Yeah, I just gotta remember. The like, miss is left. It's 270, but the angle, it's gotta be like 350 shot. Three, yeah, for, you gotta add like an extra 70 feet, and then you wanna miss left. Yeah, you definitely wanna miss Because if you come in late, you're still well, gonna have high. a putt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what you'll see at, at this course. Me and Ezra were just talking about it. The rough is nasty out here. Not only is it thick, and right now too, it doesn't even look, I mean, it's, it's way better than it would be when the leaves come back, but the thorns that are in the rough, we are just saying like, it makes it to where you can't really get as creative as like, let's say in Waco, when you get a lie in the rough, you can really kind of extend and get into different positions. A lot of times the thorns prohibit you from where you can actually move. And then you basically are like, what'd you just have there? Like, just like a little, a little yeah, so. The rough is going to be brutal this week. Because even if you come into here, Ezra, I'd take that over that any day. You probably aren't going to like. You probably aren't birding it, but you're Those definitely not bogey. This is one of the best holes on the course, in my opinion. 723 feet, Paul wall. We got woods on the right side. We got OB on the left side. Basically, it pinches at the end of the tee shots. So you kind of want to push that right side tree line as much as you can to where you actually have a look at the basket down that, like there's like a gap and tunnel shot to the basket. Yeah, and there's OB everywhere. My play is to throw a backhand that kind of gets to the tree line and then just kind of fades as it's like aligned with it. And then hopefully have a straight shot to the basket and yeah. have something. It's the that, second the second shot Because if, if you're too so far, hard. If you're too far left off the tee I, and like on this OB line, you have absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's impossible to get to the basket. So you have to like, you have to push that right side. So it's, and you better, it's better to be short right than long left. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing I don't like. Is that about too the, far left? Well, that's the only thing I don't like about the new because then I feel like it's easy for it to kind of skip and keep finishing. And then left. go way left. So I'm, I'm gonna throw like a straight onyx and hopefully it kind of gets to that point and then just kind of stops. I'll go Volturius. At the very end, that probably killed me. Uh, so don't fade. That might be really good though, right? If it's short, it's great. Yeah. Oh, it's great. One back. You know, it would have been good if you would have just thrown it like 30 feet left. Yeah, I think I think with the nuke, I had to swing it out way further. What about a forehand? Were you able to get far enough with the forehand, you think? No, we throw it straight into the yard. Yeah, not, not that, but if you threw a good forehand? I think so. That looks good. That's great. That's pretty short. You think it's too short? Not even worth it? Because you're gonna probably have like probably gonna have like 350 plus through a really. I don't want that. You're not gonna birdie from that. This is where like my good forehand ended up. I've still got 375 to the basket. Who, as you can see, a super tight gap. If I they, can't do a whole lot better with the forehand. If those two trees weren't there, yeah. I would say this is probably not the bat, worst play. Right. But those two trees basically make it to where you have to throw a super technical hyzer flip. It's so tough. You can see like all oh, backhands, that gap looks way easier from that distance. Yeah, just having an extra 70 feet I think is going to be the key. I got to figure out. Oh, I'm right here. Is my new trash? 288. I don't know. 288? 288. Almost turned it enough. Dang. Low. Low. Get down. Go in. Oh. Give me it's such thing. a good shot. Fun shot though. Put it back in. Dang. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Late flipping. Jawbreaker. Flipping jawbreaker. Oh. That. Oh. That's OB. Yep. Yeah. I don't like that because I want I want it to play out. Definitely more of a turnover.
Yeah, have some like a, this is definitely more of a flex shot. Oh, this is definitely a scuba. hole so far yeah just again par four requires a really good tee shot placement and then the second shot's like a very specific technical shot uh to give yourself a chance yeah, it's like p20 why don't you just throw a beat in raptor why do you throw an onyx literally you know my, your onyx and my beat in raptor are the same play i used to throw i, I threw a beat in raptor for a lot of last season and i have since realized that an onyx flies like a beat in raptor but does it better you know? How so? There's less fade. There's a little less fade with an onyx. A little bit more glide. So it definitely, like, it definitely goes a lot longer than a beat-in raptor. Okay. Um, but then I have a beat-in raptor for my bag if I want to throw a beat-in like raptor flying. Oh. I don't like onyxes for flying. Yeah, you don't like flying. All right, this hole's wrong. They did email us letting us know the distance was wrong on this one. Yep. It's like 320. 320. 325. But it's just wide open. Dink, R5. Dink, dink a hole. I mean, definitely I eagleable. <laughs> you go both. Uh, but yeah, wide open. You can go back in. You go forehand. I think it's just gonna be pretty much wind dependent. Yeah. If the wind's out of the right, you'll probably see more forehands. We'll probably throw one of each. Not deep. Yeah, I went deep yesterday too. Definitely throwing farther than I did yesterday. I played this course after like a seven-hour drive and. <laughs> Definitely did not, could not do that yesterday. <laughs> I think I definitely need to throw it a little higher. <laughs> that's perfect. Go in. That's, that that's, might be long too. I think we got, I don't know why I think we so need to try to throw, I think we need to try to throw this like 300. Yeah. Instead of 320. Well, I think a polo, a polo tee shot's going to be 20 feet short because that OB is so tight on the Correct. Back. So I'm going to try to throw this forehand 300. Way too wide. But even that, like, I, I mean, that's not great. I was trying to save myself, but no, that's not good. That's great. That's great. Sit. Sit. Wow. Jeez. Man. It's really downhill. It is really downhill. There it is. Probably played them. That's, that should be perfect, right? Yeah. Yup. Yeah. What if we just did, like, a get freaky right at it? Instead of going like a high speed, like if there's no wind like this, Ezra, why not just throw a zone? You could honestly get a zone though. Yeah. Like, I don't think I can throw a zone deep. Like, that's no way that ever goes deep. You could definitely go deep with that. Yeah, I definitely threw that five <laughs> feet deep and I did not throw it very hard. <laughs> <laughs> there's zero percent chance I ever can throw a zone I just, deep. I, I find it funny that we'll throw the most shots on the easiest hole in the course yet. <laughs> well, because you tough. can't keep it in bounds. <laughs> All right. We'll figure it out. Oh, that was so soft. No way that de is deep. There's no way. Yeah, pin high. Pin high. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it probably plays 272, it honestly. Have, it's so downhill. It's totally I, might, like, I might literally minute, minute and black myself <laughs> and think it's 272 now. <laughs> Mine's safe too. Full safe, dude. Oh, we're not big at all. We're freaking weak. Well, small. It does look like the OB is way closer though. It's like, it's like, it's like. See that? You good, bro? You good, dude? You didn't see that? That stick the stick to was you? trying to go for a ride. Oh, that's mean. There's a lot of uh, a lot of sticks that like try to like attach to you, and then everything everything's out to get you at this point. They try to they try to like spread their seed. Looking big, dude. Across Looking the, big. Across the creek. I went 0 for 5 yesterday. I didn't get a single one across. 
Hey, man. It is what it is. Couldn't do it. All right, hole six, 250. Kind of back-to-back -back dinkers. Um, this one is kind of like the exact opposite of where wide open, you don't have anything in between you, but a lot of stuff around. So I think the play yeah. is like low and try to skip just outside a circle and then skip up in it. Because I think you're less likely. If you go high, I think you're more you likely to something. maybe hit a tree and then redirect. Honestly, it's a world angle because you got the green like this, basket up here. The trees like come out like this. So really in order to get to the basket, you have to like throw it past the basket and skip back to it. So I, it's kind of kind of funky. I think you you're going to see, I think you're gonna see some people go back in hyzer. Poke and hope. Hope, crash poke and hope, crash in. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think as easy of a hole and as short as hole, I think you're actually going to see a lot of different throws. Yeah. Which is kind of cool, I guess. That is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I mean, that's a poke and hope situation. That was terrible. Sound still, forehand, still moving? My forehand is very yeah. soft right now. Get hold, dude. Get hold, stay hold. I don't, I don't like how soft I'm throwing my forehand. I honestly might go get freaky. Yeah, I might go so get bad. freaky just to like actually make me have to throw it hard. Yeah, I like that bad. Well, no, that's still terrible. You gotta get way wider than you think. There it is. Skip up in there. Is that a zone? That's a raptor. Raptor? That's fine. Like, what if you just like. Is that putt? Oh, throw, like, throw a grenade at can't you? What? You can throw a grenade at 250, can't you? It's been a while since I've thrown this shot. Let's see. Oh, it's on it. Oh, no. It's got pushed on it. Get your alpha brain with my link. My Instagram bar. No free ads, Ezra. I'm getting paid. I'm talking about I guess this is a jolt channel. Alright, I, I think I just need to throw a zone. Here we go. Oh wow. See, I think the zone, I just like the zone because I don't I can't throw it hard. This is not a bad play, just chucking a well, I hate that I hate that that's not a bad play. I, I that, know. You know? I hate it too. I don't think any more dinkers on this front nine. I think that's I think this is the last one. Hole seven. This is one of the most difficult holes on the course, I believe. 829 foot Paul Fouault. I don't even know, we don't even know how to play this hole completely yet. We've only seen it once. I think the play is probably to try to throw a big Anheuser over these trees, over this little creek, and then have something into the green. But the, the, also the basket's super tight and protected, so I don't know. This also might be a hole to play for Paul. What do you think? What if you, what if you go big Annie here? Oh, like over that? Yeah. Like right of that big tree? Right of that big tree, big Annie. And so then you then you're like cutting off the distance. Is it though? Would it not? I be? just feel like I just feel like that really brings in the, the possibility of hitting something and then having to take your having to ET. They'd be OET. I feel like if you throw a big uh, Annie are, left. There are pretty tall trees at the edge. Yeah, I feel yeah. like No, it's bad. I feel like you want to throw a big Annie this way. Yeah. That that little creek's inbounds. So you just want to be over inbounds the entire way. Yeah. Also not good win, but it is what it is. They missed that last tree. I think that's perfect. Yeah, it's, there's that one tree at the very end that you gotta miss, and you missed it. Oh! It didn't get around the last one? You need to be above it. You need to be high up. I am like a photo lap one. Nice. I would say even higher than that though. Higher? That still kind of got sneaky. Oh shoot. Jazz by assholes? No way. Oh, it's flippy. I'll throw one more, I guess. 
<laughs> I don't. I didn't really have another disc to I do. I feel like it's the only play. Oh, you're on way high. Oh. oh. Well, that's fine, right? Yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's great. That's great shot. So ideal spots here. I think now that we're up here, you the def the play is definitely high turnover yep. that never comes out. You just want to, yeah, you got to make sure you miss all this stuff. So as high as you can It doesn't really matter if you're way over here. Right. Um, and then the second shot's really tricky because one, it's no, it's a, it's a no look blind shot, shot, blind. And it's going to be just inside that last tree bunker on the right. So we're right around like 311 from here. So I think you just want to push something pretty straight and then have something fade just a little at the very end. Good or short, you think? Uh, I would bounce short, but I feel like it's pretty decent. Pulled it. You've been bonked. Oh, short a bit. I pulled it. I don't know. I don't know if I like zone from here. I mean, I don't like that either. I'm just throwing it too straight. What about just going high spike? Oh, is that basket too pinched? I don't think it's there. Is it the high? I mean, I can see that, like, I don't think the high is The bunker's there. probably right in the way, huh? Yeah, I think forehand, too, you've got a really tall tree coming in right where you want to come in, too. I think it's I think it's pretty protected on the high shot. This is how we do it. Oh. This is how we do it. <laughs> I don't know how the song goes. So. Oh man. Alright, one high right, one high left. Dead center pass, baby. This is how we do it. Do you think Will Smith's Spotify like shot up through the rankings? What do you guys think? Probably. Do you think a lot of people are getting jiggy with it right now? Dude, everyone's getting jiggy with it. I saw that Chris Rock's like resale for his uh, comedy tour tickets are like 7x. Dude, all press is good press, man. It's all popularity, man. You won't, you won't smack me on the first tee. <laughs> hole eight. Kind of like a, like a boomerang. It's like a, hole, it's like a horseshoe type of shot. Kind of, more like a boomerang. Because like a horseshoe, like, I feel like, is more like this. You throw a shot out, it goes back to you, yeah. Boomerang's more like that. That's true. What kind of horseshoes do you throw? I ho I throw like the good okay. kind, Colt, 45s. Okay. You shoot the horseshoes? Huh? I've thrown I've thrown a couple ringers. 557 feet, pole four. We got a, We got a mando. This this like uh, pole. We got a mando. You got to go left of that. I don't know. It's a horse. It's a, Are it's you ever there. throwing the layup shot? Ooh. You know what? If we had a ton of right to left wins, then maybe. Okay. But the play that we kind of figured out last year was you just throw a big anhyzer on up into the air and have it torn over the creek. It's a wide open field. It's a wide open field in this area. So you just, you just go into that and then it's fine. So let's throw one, let's throw one layup. Let's throw the layup. Just trick because then you have to like, you have to throw the right distance to get to a gap. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to practice it just in it. case the conditions are bad. Good. Good idea. And then, uh, I think it's like right around 300 feet of this You don't want to be too far right either, because then if your distance is off, then you're pinched. That should be good. Yeah, man. Yeah! Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? See, I'm going Janice. Really flippy. You could also do a wall too. Because I'm going more like, I'm going more like Heiser. I like Heiser release. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. Kind of slipped like a mug. And now we see where we are. This is going to be a great hole to have spotters on because we might be looking for our disc for the next 30 minutes.
just like that. So I definitely need to like throw it with a little bit more angle. Came out probably a little too much hysery. So I think I would like to end up where like Ezra is. Cause then it's just, I'm a 200 foot shot. Here's 275, still manageable. Yeah, I can't really throw a zone much farther on Heiser than 275, so it's kind of actually a good distance. Oh, I'm on. Thumber hole? Yep. This is where you're going to bust out the thumber? We literally just want it's placement shot. This is, yeah, I think this like is another. Wide open throwaway. Do we think this is like kind of on the level of hole 7 as far as difficulty for birdie? I would say this is more difficult than hole 7. More now, now we've gotten good tee shots on 7, I would say this is more difficult. Because 7's like you just have to have a good tee shot and the second shot's doable. Second this. Shot's doable. You have a good tee shot. The second shot's way more difficult. Second shot way more difficult. Okay. Yeah. You got yeah, 839 feet. Lots of Dog leg left off the tee. We're trying to get to that that pole where it was like signs off. Trying to land just short of that and then have like a really tough technical like straight mid-range probably to the basket. But it's also really well guarded with a bunch of this super thorny rock. So lead the way, man. All right. Show me the line. You going high up? No. A little uphill too, huh? It is a little uphill, yeah. So it's like five. It's like a 520 foot shot. Yeah, it's 500. Money? Yeah, I really want to be a little bit more left, but that's that's gonna be a shot. Is it it's scary. You're going It's really tall. It is because of the OB, yeah. Oh, you get to see. All right, I don't think I can land in a better spot, honestly, right here. I got 325. I actually almost want to play kind of almost a turnover, just to open up this gap a little bit more. Too much of a turnover. This is a very, uh, very difficult shot. Maybe it's like a zone. Oh yeah, it's a zone. Yeah, I need, I need to like recalibrate my distances again because I'm just like anything over 300, I'm instantly thinking mid. Get out of it. So bad. Right. Get out of it. That's fine. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh. Finish with a scoop. That's it for the MCO, baby. Keep slinging them discs.